ang bawat misa ay pasasalamat. At ngayong umaga, sinasabi natin sa Panginoon, Salamat Lord Jesus for Father Alvin. Sa kanyang paglilingkod sa ating parokya, siya ay moving forward. Siya ay moving on. Salamat din Father Noel sa kanyang pagtanggap ng tungkulin na maging pastol dito sa Annunciation of the Lord Parish. Ang salita po ng Diyos para sa araw na ito ay maaari nating isamaray sa isang salita, prayer. Throughout His short life here on earth, living among us, what did the Lord do that is worth remembering? Mas magaling pa siguro yung ibang pare kasi nakapagtayo sila ng ospital, nakapagtayo ng orphanage, nakapagpagawa ng simbahan, nakapagpagawa ng school building. Si Jesus, wala siyang naipatayo kahit isang simbahan. Walang kahit isang bahay ampunan. Walang kahit isang bahay, sa, bahay para sa matatanda o ospital. Walang kahit isang school kahit isang kumbento, kahit maliit na kwarto, wala siyang naipatayo. Kasi ang sabi nga niya, the son of man has no place to lay his head. And yet, even if the Lord was not able to do the work that many of our priests do, the Lord continues to be with us. Because in His life here on earth for 33 years as God and man, the Lord only taught us one thing to love God, and to pray. And that is the mission of Father Noel. That is the mission of Father Alvin. That is the mission of every Catholic, of every priest, of every Christian. Only to love God and to show our love for Him by our life of prayer. The NGOs can put up hospitals. The corporations can put up schools. But we, we Christians, our contribution to society is prayer. Our contribution to society is loving God above everything. Kapag pinag-usapan natin yung panalangin, siyempre gusto mo maririnig ka. Anong kwenta naman na magdasal ka pero hindi ka naman pinapakinggan? Anong kwenta naman kausapin mo pero hindi ka pinapansin? Natural lang na gusto natin that when you pray, God listens to our prayers. So the question that needs asking is, do you want all your prayers to be answered? And the answer is yes. But how can all our prayers be answered by God? Two things are necessary. Number one, when you pray, you must love much. When you love much, you must give much. Ibig sabihin, hindi pakikingin ka ng Diyos ang panalangin mula sa kuripot na kalooban. Hindi pakikingin ka ng Diyos ang panalangin mula sa taong hindi marunong magmahal. Pero mayroong taong nagsasabi lang ng I love you. Pero pag kumain na sa labas, yung kaibigan na palagi ang nagbabayad. Marami namang nagsasabi ng I love you, pero wala namang ibinibigay. Lahat na lang tinatanggap. That is self-love. That is not the love of Jesus. Because true love gives. And the real measure of love is to give without measure. Gusto mong pakinggan ka ng Diyos, magbigay. Gusto mong magmahal, magbigay. Sapagat ang tunay na nagmamahal ay mapagbigay. Uulitin ko, uulitin ko, ang Diyos kailanman hindi naging kuripot sa atin. Kaya kailanman hindi tayo pwede maging kuripot sa isa't isa. Sapagat ang tunay na Kristiyano ay nagmamahal at ang tunay na Kristiyano ay nagmamahal sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay. Na hindi tayo natatakot maubusan Kasi alam natin, hindi mauubusan ng Diyos. So when you pray, you must love. 
And when you love, you must give. And when you give, you must not expect anything in return. And you must not be afraid to have nothing. You must not be afraid to lack. Because people who love, love best by laying down their lives for their friends. Tatatandaan natin ang Ibanghelyo, hinugasan ng babae ang paan ng Panginoon. Natatandaan natin ang Ebanghelyo, nagkasala tatlong beses si Pedro at tinakbuhan ng Panginoon. Anong sabi ng Panginoon? Her sins are forgiven because she loved much. Anong tanong ng Panginoon kay Pedro? Di naman niya tinanong, are you sorry? Ang tinanong, do you love me? Because if you love me, I'm willing to listen. If you love me and you know how to love, never mind your weakness, I am here. Gusto ninyong pakinggan ng Diyos ang inyong panalangin? Love much. And love much by giving much. Pangalawa, you want all your prayers to be answered. The second requirement is forgive much. Forgive much. And the key to answered prayers is a merciful heart. Kapag hindi ka marunong maawa sa kapwa-tao, paano mo maasahang kaawaan ka ng Diyos? Samantalang kinaawaan ka ng Diyos, hindi ka naman marunong magbigay ng awa sa kapwa-tao. When you forgive much, the Lord's ears open more because the cry for mercy is song to the ears of the Lord. Forgive much. Kung nagdadasal ka, pero ipinagdadasal mong mamatay na sana yung kalaban mo, o maaksidente na sana yung naniningil sa'yo, kung nagdadasal ka, nasasabihin mong, Panginoon, ayoko hong gumante, kayo na ang gumante para sa akin. Magdasal ka na lang sa harap ng pader, baka sumagot yung bato, pero hindi sasagot ang Diyos mula sa isang puso na matigas na hindi marunong magpatawad. So, the mark of a good prayer is that our prayers are answered. And our prayers will be answered if when you pray, you love much and you forgive much. Anong inaasahan ninyo kay Father Noel? Magaling magturo o magaling mag-administer, magaling mag-manage sa dapit hapon ng buhay ng pari. Ganoon din ang itatanong pagkatapos ng misyon. Father, did you love much? And Father, did you forgive much? Sa buong bunuan, dapat si Father Noel ang pinaka-eksperto sa pagmamahal. Hindi pagmamahal ng romantic, hindi pagmamahal ng asawa sa asawa, kundi pagmamahal ni Jesus para sa ating lahat. At ang sukatan ng tunay na pananampalataya ay hindi yung puno ang simbahan kapag araw ng linggo o kahit pang karaniwang araw. Ang tunay na tanda ng malusog, buhay, masiglang parokya ay maraming nagkukumpisal. Kung walang nagkukumpisal sa isang pamayanan, kahit gaano karami ang nagsisimba, may kulang sa ating pananampalataya. Father Noel is here, as Father Alvin was here, to love much and to forgive much. Give Father Noel a chance to love you and give him a chance to invoke God's mercy upon you. Confess your sins, be sorry for your sins, and show your love for God by the humility of your heart, by the kindness of your soul. Alagaan ninyo si Father Noel sapagkat si Father Noel ay larawan ni Jesus 
para sa inyo. Amen.